Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over my fully AFKable 100% fungus farm. So this, this farm right here, it allows you to get some crimson along with warped fungus. So here's how it works. So if we just grab some netherrack and we stand on this piece of fungus right here. We hold it to the red, the little um, white bit right here, and we just hold down our mouse. This is all we do, and it allows you to get a whole ton of warped fungus and a whole ton of crimson fungus. You can hear the TNT shoot over there, so that's blasting off all of the fungus into a chest below. You can do this for any amount of time. And the best thing about this is that it even comes with a switch right here to where you can get dispensed netherrack. You turn it off, you just set it back to four ticks and it stops. So, you come down here and you can see that you can collect quite a bit from this. You can get the um, roots, the more roots, and then you can get the actual fungus itself along with the sprouts. And of course the nylium. So, how does it work? <clears throat> well, if we come over into here, you can see that we have a chest. This would be full of bone meal and a hopper running into this right here. This is our bone meal system. And we put glass above the nylium, not only because it lowers, or not only because it raises the chances of the sprouts and fungus being collected, because we have minecarts running under, and here we got one right here. <coughs> but also because it can protect you from mobs also. So if you really wanted to, you could always add a cap over you to prevent you from getting damaged from any mobs and making this farm 100% AFKable. So, once it moves over to here, it will get pushed along because it sends a update to right here, which will then send it to push and send it forward. And same system over here pushes it forward and then it pushes it into this um, system of pistons right here which once it reaches this, it sets off a clock dispensing TNT. Now, TNT is very expensive, so you can always replace this with a um, TNT duper machine if your server allows it, or if you're just playing alone and you want to use that, you always could, but I just prefer to use the um, dispenser because not a lot of servers allow for TNT duping. So this is a very low loss farm. As you can see, anything that gets picked up here will get transported down into this hopper minecart, which will be shot down into the chute and right into the chest. All right, so now we're going to build the farm. I don't have the exact materials, but uh, maybe I'll put them in the description somewhere if I find them. I don't really have anything for the update. All right, anyway, let's get on to building. So, first what we're going to do is we're going to make our dispenser piece. So, we're just going to put the dispenser right there, chest right here, on top of a hopper. So, this is what we have for our first bit. We're going to put a redstone torch down and a piston right here. We're then going to put a block right here along with a repeater running into a block and run that out into the piston. So what this is going to do is this is our bone meal chest that's going to get funneled down into this dispenser right here. So once we place our netherrack here, it's going to send a signal. So we have four ticks and then it pushes it, All right? So now we're going to get our crimson. You can either do crimson or warped fungus. It doesn't really matter, but we're just going to put some crimson up here and we're gonna glass it off. So we're just gonna put some glass on top of it. 
I mean, also, we might as well... You don't really need this one here, but... Usually, you'd be placing Netherrack there, so... You just put something there, I suppose. Uh, you can always put glass there if you want. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so now we're going to get on to the second dispenser. So we're going to place a dispenser right here. Run up the back. Place a comparator going into the dispenser. And then make a hopper clock right here. So that we can power it. And then on top, we're just going to place a barrel. And then you're going to get your second piece of fungus. So we, we will do warped. You can always do another crimson or another warped. It doesn't matter. And we're going to put that right here. Okay, now we're going to come back over to this and we're going to run the hopper clock into here. This is our bone meal one. So we're going to run the comparator right here. And then we're going to put the two hoppers here. We can just break these down here. All right, so now we're going to work on the AFK nether dispenser because that's pretty much a necessity for this farm if you're going to be doing it AFK. So what we're going to do is we are going to place a dispenser right here, run out to back, place down a comparator, oh, sorry, a repeater and then a comparator. Then we're going to do this back here and we're just going to place a hopper here and a hopper here face them into each other, destroy those two blocks, and then we have that. Now a recommended thing to do is to put glass above your hopper clocks. This just prevents any warped fungus or anything from getting inside of them and potentially uh, ruining the clock. Okay, so next thing that we can do is we can add a hopper right here. Or actually, I suppose we could just add one right here and put a chest right here. This is going to be our netherrack storage. So we're going to face that into here. That's just our netherrack storage. So remember bone meal in this chest right here, netherrack in this one, more bone meal in the barrel. So now we're going to work on our pushing system. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a redstone torch right here. Uh, any block of your choice, a repeater, another block here. And usually I'd replace this with obsidian just in case the farm breaks. You can um, have it stop and you would know right away instead of it having to be pushed all the way over. Because it does have a tendency to do that if you don't reset the farm every now and then um this is only this only happens if you leave and then you come back and you don't reset the little area it'll have a little problem and it won't push anyway so now we're going to grab a piston right here and that's pretty much your entire pushing system so if we were to give it a test, let's grab some netherrack. Uh, we don't have any bone meal, so we can't really do much, but you can see that it pushes and it pushes this. And we can see that it does that and just pushes it along. So now we're going to work on our pushing system. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to come one block away from the hoppers here and you're just going to place a row like this we're going to do one two three four five six we're going to do six blocks we can destroy this block here and then we're going to do repeater 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 actually you can always just do repeater here this just makes it a lot easier for our um, clock and then you're going to put those there you're going to come out the front, you're going to place a redstone torch here, a block of iron with a repeater running into a block, and some redstone out the back. And then you're just going to run these all to these piston bits. Okay, so now you're going to want to grab your obsidian and we're going to make a small blast chamber 
for our netherrack and or our nylium. So we're just gonna make something kind of maybe a little about like this. So let's count how many blocks away it is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We can always go to twelve if we so want to, which I think think that we'll go to about 11. This 12 is the maximum push. So just to keep it safe, we might go to just 10, just so that the um, farm doesn't jam. All right, so now let's go out back here and we're going to run our TNT. So this is going to power this block, which is going to power both of these. So now we're just going to make our TNT clock here. So we're going to come out one here and we're just going to build kind of a spiral goes around and then it's going to go up. Make it about over. It's about here. And then we'll make it go up a little bit more. About here. Uh, it doesn't really matter how high you are as long as it's safe for the um, TNT. So we're going to place that here. So now you can see that we are more or less out of blast area from our redstone getting destroyed. So what we're just going to do really quick is place an obsidian wall. This is only to prevent um, any blasting from going on. And now it's just placing in the repeaters. Right here. Give them all a good delay. More TNT that you can serve. This is if you're using the dispenser system. Um, if you're using the TNT duping system, you can still put it on a high amount of ticks that you would want to have your TNT saved. So now let's just grab some TNT and fill our dispenser. All right, and before you do anything, you're going to place some, you're going to place a chest down here and you're going to place some hoppers um, it's gonna have to be directly in center and then to prevent your TNT from blowing up you're going to put water along the corners so what this will do is it will prevent your TNT from well blowing up any important circuitry And now, your farm is pretty much done. The only thing to really add now is the collection system for the low loss rates. So I guess just placing blocks in and then adding like minecart with hoppers underneath, going into hoppers and then getting them into the chest. So it's as simple as just making a powered rail set. So I'll make it down here. So I'm just going to show you how simple it is. You don't really get a lot of drops from the bit here. So this isn't really all that important. It's just if you want to collect all like the roots and all that stuff. So now we're just going to dig over to the chest wherever that is. So we'll take this one more time and we're going to run a hopper from here and we're going to run that into the cart so let's break that there we're going to run it into there so now all we need to do is place the rail here and then we're going to grab a minecart with a hopper and that should start moving right away and then you can just patch up your hole. That's all. And if you really want to watch what's going on inside, 
and just place some glass there. So now just to prevent any losses or anything, all you're going to do is you're going to place some glass along the sides here. This is just going to prevent any fungus from coming out of here and just being run. And it'll push it off into this cart here. Another cart that you could have would be down here and you would just run that into the same hopper system right here. But you can do that on your own. If you really want to, all you have to do is just remove the block here, place a hopper, place a block on top. There you go, you'd place a block on top and then it would collect everything and you would run a hopper line down to here. And that is your farm pretty much done. Let's give it a test. So let's grab our bone meal. Uh, we'll just put it directly into the dispenser to get the quickest results. So you're gonna fill that up. Then you're going to get over to your other dispenser. You're gonna fill that up. Come over to here. You're going to fill it up with your netherrack. It's going to go into the dispenser. And then you're going to turn on your clocks. So I'm gonna turn this off for right now. And we're just gonna use saplings. So turn on your hopper clocks. Just only, you can only put one item in there. That will keep it good. And plop one more item down in there. And your farm is working. A safety bit for right here, if you're not using an auto clicker, is just to put a torch here. Not only does this light up the area around you, but it keeps you um, from misplacing your block. So now you can just aim here and just hold down. So the TNT goes down and it doesn't blow up any important circuitry because it's not in that area. So it'll take a little bit for the fungus to be pushed over to the uh, TNT. So now it's going to run the circuit right here and it's going to blow it. And there you go, you've now created your fungus farm. So if you were to dig down and look at the chest, you would see that you are now getting all of your fungus that you needed. And that is the farm. And just to show you that the uh, piece right here is working, all you would do is just stand here and you would start placing as normal. Anyway, that is the AFK Nylium farm. I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like if you did enjoy, and I hope to see all of you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.